Primatissimi cittadini italiani. Ah. What is it doing to the poor bottle? <laughs> Hi everyone! This is Anya Lasagna. Do you recognize me? I know I might look a little bit different today. Uh, oh my god, this hair looks so bad. So today I actually tried an 80s inspired makeup. So from the title of this video, you probably already know that I'm going to be reacting to Chao 2021. Now some of you probably think, Chao 2021, what the hell is that? What is she talking about? So last year, a very popular Russian talk show called Vicherny Urgant, which literally translates to Evening Urgant, released a new year episode called Chao 2020, which means goodbye 2020. So the whole premise of the show was that a lot of famous Russian singers, you know, musicians came together and performed their hit songs, but with the lyrics translated into Italian. The goal of the whole show was to parody the colorful concerts of Italian pop music scene of 1980s and a popular Soviet musical variety show called New Year's Little Blue Light or Novogotny Aganyok. Although this show was produced in Russia, all the communication in the episode is actually in Italian and is accompanied by the Russian subtitles. Now, I don't know if the producers had anticipated this, but the episode just blew up all over the internet and the news. So both Russian and Italian media paid a lot, a lot of attention. So in addition to following the best fashion trends of that era, all the performers and presenters also had their names and stage names stylized into Italian ones. Now, my favorite ones are probably Yegor Creed, uh, which became Giorgio Creedi, and the host of the show, Ivan Urgant, which became Giovanni Urganti. And two months ago, there was a second episode that was released called Chao 2021. And yep, it's already two months late, but I actually didn't know that there would be a second episode, so I'm feeling it right now. It's <laughs> a bravo Giovanni! Almost all the kids are forced to recite poems for New Year's. If you have a, like Diet Maros or like Santa Claus coming in, you have to recite a poem in order to get a present. I had the same exact tie at home. Really? Yeah, the same exact wooden tie. <laughs> oh yes, that intro! <laughs> Canale Uno presenta! Oh my god, I wanna get that wig. <laughs> Wait, this song sounds so familiar. Oh! I just understood! Yeah, this is a very, very typical New Year song. It's called Three White Horses. <laughs> this is uh, the outfit I was going for. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, in, in this age, that wouldn't be okay, but we're talking about the past, the 80s. Dario Jarachi. Honestly, I, I didn't know who Jarachov was, but he's considered as the first blogger rappers of Russia. <laughs> Wow, I like it! I need to look that song up in Russian. Ooh! Maxim Galkin is actually a very, very famous Russian presenter and comedian, and he's married to Alla Pugacheva, who is the prima donna of Russian pop scene. Pop scene? Music scene. <laughs> and it was a huge scandal back then, but now they've been married for more than 10 years, so I guess it's okay. Wait. Why was it a big scandal? Because they just had a huge age gap. He is right now 45 and she is right now 72. Wow. Wait, how, okay. how many years is that? 27 years. Oh, interesting. So Dead Blonde is apparently a Russian rave project that became popular on TikTok. And I didn't even know that rave was considered a separate music genre. <laughs> oh my God, that artwork looks amazing. 
vuole votare dalle finestre la roba vecchia ah. è una tradizione di capatano Ma... so apparently in Italy that is a tradition you need to get rid of old stuff before New Year but interesting enough in Russia it's actually the opposite you're not supposed to take out trash if you're superstitious it means that you're gonna get bad luck ah! oh wait they were on the stage with the skis damn <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Lucia Ciabatta. In Russian is Lucia Chubotina and she is a famous singer. Apparently she got to the quarterfinals of Ukrainian version of The Voice show. So she's probably a big deal. Oh, I like her outfit. <laughs> oh yes, that angle. <laughs> Look at the guy dancing. Yeah, but all of them sing like with very serious face. <laughs> oh, now the sponsor of the show. Oh. Ew! Ew! <laughs> what is it doing to the poor bottle? I don't know anything about him besides the fact that he's very, very young. <laughs> oh my god, the makeup and hair that did for him. <laughs> Oh, I think I've heard this melody before, yeah. Oh wow, look at that transition. So cool. I can do that too. It's slow. <laughs> I'm gonna have an ad in three. How many ads do they have here? Oh my god. I think they realized how popular they were last year. So this year they are like, we're gonna make every coin. Like a Beyonce outfit or Miley Cyrus outfit? In huh? Maneskina. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, <what>? oh. <laughs> wait! Oh my god, this is Valeri Leontio. So he is 72 years old now and he's considered one of the few like huge legends of Russian music and and I think yeah he also got famous because of his very eccentric outfits as you can see very very short shorts <laughs> and a lot of see-through revealing outfits <laughs> they're making pizza on stage what the hell he looks super good for 72 oh my god look at his teeth they're like shining is he wearing a bunch of trash bags <laughs> Oh my god, it just hit me. So Margarita is a name, that's why they have pizza at the back. <laughs> I'm so slow, sorry. <laughs> Who is next? Who is next? Who is this? Laboda, Laboda oh, Svetlana Laboda, she is a Ukrainian singer and she represented Ukraine in Eurovision in 2009, so quite some time ago. So I noticed something that Russian songs, a lot of them have very sad lyrics and then they change it into very pop happy melodies. What is that move? Hand around your crotch? What is that? <laughs> She has a very interesting moves. <laughs> oh yes, now the Italian commercial. <laughs> Who is this? I only know Palina Gagari. Oh! Is it Basta? I heard that Vasco Vakuleci. <laughs> so Basta is a very famous Russian rapper. And Polina Gagarina, also a very famous singer. Uh, she represented Russia also on Eurovision. I told you, it's a huge thing in Europe. Uh, she represented Russia a few years ago. Oh, I like her voice. Whoa, that's shiny skirt. <gasps> she looks so pretty. I think the original song is just Basta. <laughs> oh my god, Manisha dancing with the girls. <laughs> Cittadini italiani. Uh, uh, Cari uh, Oh, you think it's his deep fake? Is this Lube? Nella piazza di notte. Oh. So Lube, oh my god. It was popular so many years ago. So as you can see, um, they are wearing the military clothes, so they are actually famous for mixing like rock music. I think rock and like 
military songs, war songs. Okay, that's the end. All right, well, that was my reaction to Chow 2021. I really hope you enjoyed it. That's to do for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!